All right, folks. This is a uh, 2005 Toyota Corolla S. Brake pads. Brake rotors. Brake change. All right. We're using the Duralast brand. And the Duralast Elite pads, which is the best ones they sell. It's about 60 bucks. Comes with new hardware. New clips. Comes with the grease. Comes with these cool brake pads with those little dots in there they're supposed to help break in the rotor a little better you know make make up for all the little gaps in there if you're using an old rotor but uh we're going to use new rotors because you see this brake pad look at this brake pad just want to show you the front brake pad has material left see it and the brake the brake pad in the back has nothing left it's actually down to the bare metal okay now you wonder why one side is wears out more than the other it's because the brake caliper is not moving. This is supposed to be a floating brake caliper. So when you step on the brakes, the little piston here is supposed to come out. At the same time, it actually applies force and pulls on the caliper, and it makes this one come in. So that's why it's equal. But if these pins are frozen, it's not going to slide. So the only thing that's working is the piston. So the piston was the only one compressing on here and wearing the inside brake pads and not wearing the outside. And you see these pins here? This is the problem here. It's frozen. See this? Both of them. I could get this one to spin a little bit. There it is. Okay, but you can't get to the pull out. There you go. This one's caught. This one's working its way out. All right. So the way it works is when you step on the brakes, hydraulic fluid comes through the line pushes on the piston the piston pushes on this brake pad and at the same time when you push this brake pad it's pulling away the whole caliper that way so when it pulls that way it kind of squeezes the front all right it's hard to explain in theory but uh you know i guess you can get an automotive book and find out exactly how a floating caliper works but uh, basically, that's how it works. The caliper goes on here, the piston squeezes, and then this thing pulls this way. So at the same time, it's gonna go like this. It's gonna actually slide. Just picture it, it's gonna slide and pinch at the same time. So when it slides, it pulls this one in, and it pulls this one in, and they wear out evenly. But if you have a brake pad that does not wear out evenly, this is, this is what happens. All right, the inside wears out faster than the outside. All right, let's see how I can get this one out for you. Ta-da! All right, there it is. Look at that. There's almost half a life left in the front. And, of course, change the rotor. I'm going to show you what the rotor looks like in a second. It's prepaid. Let me see if I can knock it off for you. So just in case, if you guys want to know, you want to do the brake job, basically what you have here is you gotta take the two caliber bolts off over here. I believe it's a 13. 13 seems to be a very popular one. It's actually a 14. 14 millimeter will take this off, pull the caliber off. Don't forget to, to use your caliper tool or whichever other way you wanna do it and push the uh, piston back in. Then back here is two 17 millimeter bolts. I need a breaker bar to break it loose comes off and then this comes off in your hand so what you have to do with this is you have to take those pins off and grease them make sure there's no damage to them don't forget to change the hardware because look at this hardware it looks like it's been greased I don't know why there's so much grease on this thing all right I'm gonna show you the rotor to get the rotor off you're just gonna whack this with a nice uh, sledge and it should come right out all right hold on All right, so got the sledge. Let's give it a nice whack. Then I'll cock it off a little bit. And you got it. Mama mia, this looks heavy. There you go. There's your rotor. All right. This is the reason why you always change your rotor when you do brakes. Don't do a cheap thing. All right. You'd be surprised how many people put new brake shoes on these rotors okay and look at this rotor 
See this? It's all grooved in. This is higher. This is grooved in. So what do you think is going to happen with the new brake pads? They're going to wear in and wear out the same way. They're going to have all these little lines in here. Okay? You can actually feel it. Okay? So all the rust. So technically, the only brakes that we're working is the shiny parts. Okay? Over here, we're just gliding along, doing nothing. All right? So that's it. So you put it back. Just clean up all your little mating surfaces. Get your new brake pads, which is the... Duralast brand, get new rotors, clean the oil off the rotors, put them back on, put your 217 bolts back on, nice and tight. All right, and that's it. Don't forget to use the uh, the lubricant that's there. Lubricate the sides of these brake pads. I mean, these are uh, caliber mounting areas, okay? So you don't get the little squeak. And that's it. Then off to the other side. All right, but this is basically a story about why these brake pads look the way they are. Nothing and something. Okay, it's these pins over here. All right, here, look, I can get this one to spin. All right, it's probably frozen, probably a bunch of junk in there. Okay, this one. I can get it to spin, but I can't get it to move. Here you go, I gotta move. All right, so they both probably have to be lubricated. Okay, it doesn't want to come out. All right, so gotta work them out, put some little grease in there. That's it. All right. Ciao. All right. So here you go with the rotor on. I put a lug nut in there so that the uh, the rotor. I mean, put a lug nut on the rotor to hold it so it doesn't flap around while you're putting the, the brackets on. All right. So here's the bracket. Nice wire brush. Very cleaned. The uh, the pins are nice and lubricated. Okay. So they go in. Nice. See that. New brake pads are on. Look how nice and thick. Cleaned up the caliper in the mounting surfaces. All right, put the little uh, grease that comes with the packages on there and on there. And we're about to put the caliper on. All right, change the hardware. Listen, buy the good brakes. Don't buy those cheap $25 brakes or whatever you get them from. All right, spend the money. This is your life and everybody else's life when you're driving around. All right, this is one thing that you don't cheap out on. Okay, it's freaking brakes. All right. So, ready? I'm gonna put the caliper on. There's a little hook to hold it out of the way because you don't want it to dangle. You don't want to ruin that hose or break anything that's there. All right, so I'm gonna put you down so I can put this caliper on. Right, so here it is with the caliper on. Put the 14 millimeter bolts back on. Tighten them up and we're good to go. All right, don't forget to step on the brakes, pump the brakes before you move the car. Okay, that's very, very important. All right, there you go. Remember what I told you about sliding calipers? Yeah. All right, basically it's gonna slide back and forth, see it? So when it slides, when you push on the piston, the piston comes out. The force of pushing it in is gonna create this to come out that way. Okay, and watch, see this? This is gonna move in, see that? And when that moves in, it's gonna move this pad that way. All right, so the piston comes out, this thing slides, the caliber, okay? And it's gonna push this way, and it's gonna squeeze it together. That's how it works, okay, people? All right, that's it. Ciao. All right, I'm gonna show you this on this other side before we go, okay? Just want to uh, make sure you guys understand how this brake caliper works. Remember, there's a piston in here. When you step on the brakes, the brake fluid comes through the brake hose, pushes the piston in. When the piston comes in, what's that old saying? There's a reaction for every action, whatever. But uh, yeah, when that comes in, this is gonna move this way. So, technically, it's gonna slide like this. All right, gonna slide on these pins. So when you push the piston in, by stepping on the brakes, this is supposed to slide because these are 14 millimeter bolts attached to these pins and these pins are supposed to slide. This one's frozen too. And when they slide, they are going to pull the brake pad in. All right, so that's why it's a floating piston. All right, so the inside is gonna push in there. The outside is gonna pull the brake pad in. 
All right, so you got the idea. All right, let's show you these brake pads too. All right. Thin. All right, you can tell the rotors are bad, right? Look at that. Even the pads are cracking after a while. And here it's uh, almost half a uh, half one. All right, so the, the inside shoes or the pads went before the fronts. And that's because it doesn't slide. Alright, so that is your problem here with this. Same thing. Change the freaking rotors. But you know what? I'll tell you. I never seen so much grease on a brake job. Ever. There's grease everywhere. See this? They greased everything. So I bet you this thing was body in for a reason. Look at that. Grease there. There should be no grease here. None whatsoever. Looks like whoever worked on this probably knew that there was a problem. And all he did was just pack on grease. Okay. Listen people. If you don't know how to do brakes, do yourself a favor. And do me a favor. Don't do your freaking brakes. Right? Because you got... There's no business for you to be touching this. If you don't know what you're doing. Look at this. Grease everywhere. It's even on my gloves. Come on. There's no reason to get this dirty. Doing a brake job. See that? Look at this. Talking about packing on grease. Hey, let's quiet it down. Let's just sew some stuff on it and pack it up. And maybe that'll quiet down the brakes. You know? Maybe that's the reason why my brake pads keep wearing out on the inside. Let's just keep changing the brake pads. Because that's the cheaper way to go. All right, people smarten up, all right? A lot of lives out there. All right, now it's a final. Say goodbye. Goodbye.